And today in this video we're going to have a look at the area around um, the Esk River, which is just north of Napier. And what I'm focusing on the timeline is around um, Cyclone Gabriel, Gabriel and post Cyclone Gabriel. I just wanted to have a look to see if we can understand the impact of that weather event and how it affected that area. So have a look here. I'm looking current images from the 26th of January, which is pre-event. Uh, we're looking at an indice called NDVI, which looks at vegetation health. So anything that's sort of green and blue, healthy vegetation, uh, red could be bare earth or it could be a building. So what we'll do is we'll skip forward and we'll go post event, which an image here from the 7th of March. You can see here there's a lot of red has come through this area. So the way you can interpret that is unhealthy vegetation or it could be a lack of vegetation. So a great way to check to see if it's a lack of vegetation is to use the bare earth indice. Click on that. And the way you interpret this is red is more likely to be vegetation, whereas the bluey green is a lack of vegetation or bare earth. So because there's a river running through there, I'd assume that it could potentially be silt. Um, that's been deposited post the event. So we'll just click back to NDVI and we'll just skip through the dates and see how that area is recovering. So the next image we're going to look at is the 16th of May. You can see there's little areas of green coming through so there's vegetation starting to return. And we have the 25th of July. Some things are getting a little bit greener through there. September. So yeah, still pretty much the same. And then if we skip forward through to the 1st of January, we can see here there's quite a bit of green coming through, but I would say there's still a, quite a lack of um, vegetation. So if we go click on bare earth, we'll have a look. We can see, yeah, there is still quite a lot of bare earth through there. I think a good comparison would be to look sort of year on year. So if we go NDVI, back to that, and then go back to our image from the 26th of January. We compare, you can see it's a heck of a lot greener through there. So it'll be more healthy vegetation. Whereas if we go for the 1st of January this year, you can see there's still quite a lot of unhealthy vegetation and that sort of tells us that the area is taking a wee while to bounce back um, post event. If you'd like to know more, um, feel free to contact us at www.orbaka.com. Cheers.